Welcome to Season 2 of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Saga. Each week, Farf and I open packs, build decks, and then play a match to win prizes for the next episode. There is one catch, though. This time around, the ban list is based on our win-loss ratio. Tune in every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern for more episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Saga Season 2. Welcome back to another video. I'm here at Open Master Packs. We've got 10 Master Packs this week, and we are going to be taking it down again as uh, Dog Thief and his incredible machine strategy will not be standing a chance against whatever the hell we're building this week because we've got 10 packs for you. We're going to get the most amazing pulls, and on top of that, we're going to build the smartest intelligent deck ever conceived of. All right, 10 Packaroos. We've got an Ultra and four Hollows. Oh boy, can we get a couple more Ultras? <gasps> the Ultras in pack number one. Incredible. Fantastic. All right, let's give it a look. A Bumbuku. That's pretty good for Pendulum. Kind of a high scale if we want to go back and pivot into Pendulum. However, we have a Hollow. Toon Kingdom. We are looking for just some good secret pack options, I suppose. Synchron Resonator, a Mathmec Diameter. I don't want to ever hear shit again about pronunciation. Okay, got some cyber support in that pack, but come on, give me a nice little, uh, little something something here to open. Boral Lord Riot Dragon. Ah, don't know if that's the play, my friend. All right, what do we have here? We got Thrasher as a special summon, and that's about it. Nothing else crazy. Pack number Cinque, Makani. Oh my god! We got a high scale! <laughs> Odd Eyes Unicorn! Been looking for that after going into the uh, Odd Eyes pack and we pulled zero Unicorn, but that is actually a very important high scale in the deck. Oh, it upgraded into a Hollow. Isn't that the best feeling in the world? Watching your cards get upgraded. All right, we got a Meteor Burst, Dark the Dark Charmer, the wrong Dark the Dark Charmer, and an Ultra Rare! Nothing! <laughs> All right, number seven. Gladiator Beast Battle Mania. All right, we got Jackal, a Chaos Betrayer, Subterror, another Black Luster Monster, and Metal Hold the Moving Blockade. All right, over here we've got Prediction Princess Coinorma. I don't know what my Prediction Princess packs look like, but we'll have a look. There's that third Torn Scale, and the Hollow Temptation Chalice Slime. Do we copy Dugzeef? and go into his exact pack as well? Do we do the exact same packs? All right, pack number nine. We've got Satellanite with a Kalhai, Shrink, White Rabbit, Raiden, Partisan. We've got a lot of Dragoonities, but not any of the good hollows, I suppose. This holo, however, is... Uh, that's very good in Virtual World, but we don't have that pack. We've got Terror Baby, Dragonfly, and... Nine Pillars of the Yang Zing. This could be a good pack to go into. I think a lot of those cards are low rarity. So we'll have a look and see just exactly what we need to build for this deck. But that's there's maybe a world where we uh, go into this thing. Okay, 10 Master Packs. What can we pull this week? And don't forget that we have a craft of a forbidden spell card. Possibly Pot of Greed, possibly Graceful Charity, maybe Snatch Deal, but probably just one of those two draw spells. So we do not have any Ultra Rares in the preview there. Maybe we'll actually pull some in the real opening though. Um, Brainerd opening, not terrible. <gasps> Insector Battle Wasp pack. Wait, Mine. Crush Cards edited this? Is that a Junior Journey reference? Shout out to uh, Junior Journey. Yeah! So we have 10 packs today and then one craft. So we could go into a craft of like the Dragonfly or the Hornet if we didn't pull it. Duelist Alliance, Pendulums, Bujin pack. Okay, Lady in White, Cyberdark Inferno. Kind of funny. Super heavy samurai, no thank you. Probably not a bad pack. I think that big Benki is ultra rare though, and if you don't have that card, the deck is unplayable, so I'd like almost certainly have to use my craft on that. Trap Trick, um, that's a Trap Tricks pack. I won't go into that again. That's uh, <laughs> probably a little bit too mean. What do we got in this pack? Baited, nothing. Big Benki is an SR. Oh, oh, is it? Okay, that's not too bad then. Hmm. Still probably clock. ZW. Red Eyes Black Flare Dragon. The Red Eyes support is interesting and sealed, but I feel like a couple of those cards are high rarity, right? Typhoon, not bad. Like, I know Dragoon isn't in the Red Eyes pack because it's still banned in the Master Duel format, but. 
It'll be funny. Oh wow, we actually completed our playset of Dark Factory and more production. We really haven't gotten a chance to play this card this season, but it was quite good last season. If we play like a monster heavy deck, that's definitely a good trap card to play because it just is like a Blaze Accelerator reload for uh, on field monsters and in hand monsters too. Uh, Blue Rose Dragon, okay. The Tin Dangler, okay. I don't know if I'm strong enough to play the Tin Dangles. Maybe I'll call up MBT and ask him if he has any tips for the Tin Dangle archetype, but Melfi Caddy, adorable. Flame Buffalo and Deep Sea Prima Donna. Does this unlock the Mermail pack? Let's take a look at what we have. I think we do have some options here. It's going to come down to, oh, that unlocks the fish pack. Interesting. Let's just take a look here. Okay, 10 packs of tunes. That's literally nothing else to pull from here. So maybe we'll build a Relinquish deck. And of course, the worst pack in the game, I just have insane hollow luck. I mean, look at this. Two ultras. Every pack is a hollow. Wow. Why couldn't I get this with like the Marine Cess pack or something, you know? All right, what do we have here? Just look at this. It's ridiculous. We got Faceless Magician. I think that's maybe important in our relinquish strategy. We'll see. We'll read them all after. Star Leech Sefer. Wow, that's great. Um, Toon Bookmark. Uh, that's good in tunes, but... I... Oh, okay, great. Yeah, we're just on our way to build actual tunes today. We got an Ultra. Hopefully it's not from the pack. Don't really want relinquish cards, but here we are. Dragon Call of Magician. Oh, it's a low scale. Never mind. Comic Hand, Kek W, Mimic Hand, and our Ultra is... Yeah, it's pretty useless. Ah! Ah! No! 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 Why? Oh, this could be any other good car in the game. You have to play two. How can I play two? I'm not gonna get enough cards to make a buildable deck. Anything good here? Light of Destruction. Toon Summon Skull, Toon Dragon, Mimic Cat, and a Golden Eyes Idol. I don't think we can put together a Toon deck. All right, over here we've got no uh, de nada. Black Illusion Ritual. Roll back and another Golden Eyes Idol. Huge. A Ice Jade Cradle. Yay. All right. Pa Hol two hollows in. This is insane. This is insane. Unending Nightmare. Yeah, that silly machine deck. Doesn't really care. Oh my god. Relinquish Fusion. So far, the Ultra we got was Luster and not uh, Millenniumized, which is kind of what we would rather have had. Okay. Oh, Ultra not from the pack here. Another hollow. Satellite Synchro. <gasps> what? 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 Two royals! Two royal! Oh my god. Three more luck, am I right? God damn. Fast Sorcerer, Toon Mask, and an Illusionist. Okay, number seven. We've got... Catty. An okay, place had a Golden Eyes Idol done, and a lot of hollows in here, by the way. I don't think I have the Restrict cards I need to really make this deck work, to be honest with you. Yeah, some tunes, not really, and the second black luster, ultra rare. Was waiting for this one to be a uh, royal as well. Okay, these things are unsummonable. Correct me if I'm wrong. I I, I don't have tune world, so you know, not sure what to do with this. Okay, come on, give me a millennium eyes. Mucho merde, dude. Play set of BLS. It's so funny because that's the best tune. All right, anything good here? Bookmark, black illusion ritual, and tune table. Okay, so not really the Relinquish package I'm looking for. So maybe five more bonus packs will get us there. We'll see. Pack number one is... Oh boy, a holo. Oh boy, I heckin' hope we pull a holo. Is it from the pack? Yes, it is. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> not bad. Pack number two. No holo? No holo, no maidens. Pack number three. It's a holo. <laughs> it's raining hollows. Actually, just raining hollows today. All right, we got a Kaiju, got an Illusionist, Golden Eyes Idol, we're done with that. That's our first Toon Cyber Dragon, by the way. And the holo is Bookmark. I think that's three now, isn't it? Any more holo? <laughs> my, ma my, my bonus packs sure are something today, aren't they? Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, Toon World playset complete. The holo is second Toon Table. And the final pack here, can we unlock a Thousand Eyes Restrict? <gasps> ah, yes! Anima! Woo! That's insane! Oh, Doug better play around his zones from now on. Yeah, target a card. Give it the suck. Give it the... Let's... 
take a look at our deck and see what we can build. Okay, so I know Bahamut Shark is banned, but I'm not really thrilled about any of the other packs. This pack, though, does have a number of good cards to support our fish cards. So we have a white Stingray, we have a lifeless Leaf Fish and stuff like this. That's hard to say. And a white Mirror, cards like that. Will these cards get played? I'm not entirely sure, but I think that they do have a chance if I actually pull a number of good ones. And maybe we could even build like a Sea Stealth Attack deck. Oh, okay. A lot of hollow cards. But uh, yeah, even though we don't have Bahamut Shark, we do have a lot of good rank 4 extra deck monsters, including water ones like number 101. Um, so I think that this could actually work. Okay, we have Deep Sea. That's not bad at all, really. Uh, Torrential Tribute is limited, which is usually one of the big reasons to go into this pack. That's not really the case here, but uh, we'll see what happens. White Howling. Okay. This pack is kind of tough because there are like three different archetypes in here, kind of, all working together. But we will see. Gosh, a million torrential tributes. But you have like the Phantasm Spirals, you have the Legendary Fisherman stuff, and then you have just the generic fish support. So I know that the new fish support just got added into this game, uh, like the new Umi support, I should say. It's not just all fish support. But we don't have that in the secret pack here, so those will not be on the table. We do have Sea Stealth Attack, though. Now, we could craft those cards, but it's kind of tough, like, crafting just one random one. You kind of need, like, multiple copies of a lot of them to make them work. Dark Flare Dragon, not bad. Another copy of Tether Wolf. Wait, that's huge. Levier the Sea Dragon is huge too. In this pack had uh, both Leaf Fish and White Stingray. This was one of the craziest packs ever. Ultra Rare, not from the pack, unfortunate. Another copy. Uh, oh my gosh. Astrograph. I mean, that makes me feel a little bit bad if not going into the Duelist Alliance pack, but it's fine. Let's see though. Another Ultra, not from the pack. Nice, good pickup there. Oh my gosh, insane pickup and okay, yeah, that's the card. Um, yeah, two good pickups. Betunaful Princess, very good card to increase the consistency of the fish archetype. Do we pivot decks to fish this week? I think we have enough cards to do it, but I also feel like the Machina cards are like so strong. See, if we had access to Bahamut Shark, we could just craft Toad and probably automatically win this week. But without, the oh my gosh, another white Stingray. Oh, I really want to play this deck. We don't have Trap Dicks for Ephlesia either. Um, okay. Probably can't make that one. We definitely do have some options. Let's uh, go to the deck building. YouTube! Welcome back to my deck profile, and you are probably looking at this and thinking and wondering to yourself, has he lost his absolute mind? Well, let me tell you something. Toon Kingdom is basically an FTK. Can't target, can't destroy my monsters. Good luck. Have fun, Citadel. Chat basically bullied me into playing Toons, and I think we've made it as good as it can possibly be. I didn't want to max out on all the red eyes because it seems really bad without the stone. Just need a lot of draw power in here, I feel like. So I went with Shard of Greed in the card, Cardi. Very slow, I know. However, his deck's pretty slow as well, kind of. He can't deal with a goblin attack force. Trust me, he just can't. All right. Let's go 0-2 this week and jump into a duel. Okay, we are back with probably our best deck ever this season. We have cut most of the bad cards or the inconsistent cards, but we are back with Machina. And uh, this week we are going to craft both Ruin Force, which is a new boss monster that'll give us a ton of recursion, and Graceful Charity. I imagine that this is going to be Farfa's Craft as well. We kind of went back and forth between this and Pot of Greed, but I think that this card is better because it can be used in Fables in the future. And uh, just in general, I mean, cycling is really good and putting cards in the graveyard is good in this deck. We also have moved to three copies of Machina Armored Unit, which can float into Scrap Recycler. I did not uh, realize that this card could go into Scrap Recycler earlier, so uh, that is definitely a combo that we are going to use because it can put the Citadel in the graveyard right away. Let's get into the duels, though, and see how this goes. Oh, shit! Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Be cool. Wait, what? Be cool. Uh, normal Summon, Gear Frame. Oh, did you just open the best card, uh, best, best, uh, best hand possible? <sighs> I opened something. Um, okay, so I think... I think I'm supposed to just go for the Citadel here because I have opened <laughs> Graceful <Poison>. Charity. <laughs> oh. So I will oh. discard uh, this Citadel that I just added. So how does Citadel work in Grave? You're supposed to revive it by like so just, getting something destroyed? Yeah, so if, if this gear frame is destroyed, I can revive it. Um, oh. And then I think I'll discard Lightning Storm because I'm going first. I'll activate Machina Armored Unit, which turns machine well, monsters into floaters. And then I'll set two cards face down. Go ahead. Bumble. Um, okay. I did Ooh, not consider uh. that this loses to one duster. 
<laughs> but I'm sure you just won't have it. Yeah, just do it. What are you going to do? Play around it? Yeah. That would be silly. No. Um, I'm going to start with... Oh, God. You're actually not going to believe what, I, what I'm playing this week. Really? You, you really aren't. It's... 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 Toon Book <gasps> What? <laughs> no way! <laughs> Literally... <laughs> Toon bookmark. Oh my Mark. gosh, That's we both have with. BOSs. <laughs> oh god. <sighs> All right. Um, let's heck and go. Am I right, boys? All right. So we need uh, the most Holy important card in our shit. deck, obviously. Is, uh, Wait, this card counter is fucking <laughs> Citadel. Yes. Cannot be. Oh my point. gosh. Okay, okay this is incredible. Card. Okay. Yep. Wow. This is amazing. Okay, yep. So was. All right. Let's. Start Wait, with, you uh, didn't have a craft game. this week. You just pulled the tune. Yeah, this is I just, incredible. I just, all right, let's go with special summon <laughs> Toon Mermaid. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, this and is amazing. Then I'm going to. Whoa! Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Wait, that actually Harvey pops lady. stuff. That pops on yeah, resolution, yeah. right? Oh my gosh, it's incredible. I um, think so. Doesn't target? Yeah, it does not target. Does not target. Pops on resolution. That is crazy. Oh, that's tough because I really want that to stick around. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Uh, so let's pop. I feel like I want to get rid of a back row here, um, but the floating is obviously annoying. Yeah, let's go for this back row. Fuck! <laughs> yes! All right. It was like I was waiting for the 50 50 because if you overlay for a rank four, it's like so much value to save the strike because it outs the mermaid yeah, I, too. I, I got it, Doug. I Dang! Okay, unlucky. All right, so no, I'm that was going a risky to... play. That was a risky play. I knew what the risk was when I did that. I'm gonna tribute two monsters <gasps> and special summon two Black Monster Soldier. Oh man! Wait, I'm actually just here. getting destroyed. <laughs> and I'm banishing yeah, you yeah. with China. Okay. Uh, just to double check, I'm pretty sure I can attack. Nope, no, the BLS could have right. attacked, but that's the only. It's BLS and Toon Dark Magician Girl can attack turn Yeah, summon. I don't think I want to trigger Citadel in the grave, right? I, right? That's how that works. Yeah, Mich yeah, ab machine? absolutely, you do not. Okay. Yeah, I would have triggered the floating and the Citadel. Um, that is that is fair. Okay. Oh, dare I say Wait, it, this chat, is... we're in an okay position. Yeah, it's actually so hard for me to deal with the kingdom. <laughs> like, so there's, difficult. There's, there's one promising, like, factor of this deck, and it's like, it goes very minus in card advantage. It doesn't really do a whole lot of combos, but it makes a big, sticky guy. So, I'm just do that. hoping that... Oh my gosh, what a weird situation to be in. Why is this so hard to out? I'm actually, like... <laughs> It's hilarious, but oh, fuck the yeah the Toon Kingdom is really difficult to out. Um, okay, let me think about this. let me think about this. How do I out a Toon deck? Just uh, go. Oh ahead. my god, let's go! None of these plays like Cured. are well positioned against these cards. It's really interesting, actually. This is oh. sort of like a hard counter against my deck just because BLS has 3,000 attack and none of your cards can be destroyed, so Citadel is just never going to remove it. So all Toons can just attack directly, right? If I don't your control a Toon monster. Directly. Okay. All right, let's start with Bookmark. Okay. And add a copy of... Two Bookmark. This is incredible, yeah. So I'm going to safely assume... That your back row is nothing, otherwise you would have uh, would have used it. Um, I think we're gonna go for this probably. Just use your Millennium okay, Eye okay. to see the back row. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna play this out like this. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna add this Toon Mask here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna activate the BLS to banish your monster. Uh, so I don't want you to crash. Um, so I will banish this. Yep. And then I'm gonna normal summon Goblin Attack Force, and oh my God, you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna love this, Doug. I am going to special summon out using my Tun Tun uh, Heart yeah. Tun Harpy Lady. <gasps> oh my gosh, yes, yes, this play is I so hype. <laughs> oh shit! I mean, it sucks because I'm about to get like destroyed right here, but that is pretty hype. Oh, you are just attacking. Oh, I'm just gonna. Damn it! <laughs> oh. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, so the reason I searched the trap card is because I wanted to have a way to trigger this on your turn. Yeah. No, that's actually like, I didn't even see that. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot that you could do that. Mm -hmm. That is unfortunate. All right, well, let's hope that big chungus over here sticks around. Okay. <laughs> so your, let's see, the trap. Oh, that's not what I needed. Um, so the trap just targets a monster I control, and then special summons a tune with less than, okay, interesting. 
set. Yeah. Yikes. Oh, man. Oh, two. Oh. They're too powerful. All right, battle phase. Straight it's to battle there. phase. All right, active memory of that. <laughs> uh, another one, really? Holy oh, shit. Oh, my God. All right, well. Chart agreed. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. I can draw playable cards in two turns. Okay, here we go. No! <laughs> Am I gonna lose now, chat? Like, I'm actually sad. Like, oh, what, man. what is that? Oh, no. Ah, one greed counter. <laughs> Not the greed counters. <laughs> Another greed no! <laughs> no! No, 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 Hold on, you're gonna have a whole uh, pot of greed at this point in a couple turns. Um, yep. Gosh, this true. sucks. Because I can't even use the banish effect right now. Oh, God, why did. Oh, Oh wait, that's fine, kind of. Eh, sort of. Activate oh, that's not good. Machina Air that's Raider. That's not good. That's not good. Do any rank eights, Doug? I summon. X Blower. Yes. Oh, it gets a summon. Hang animation. on a second. No way. Or spell and try. Detach your number from this, and if you destroy the same number of cards you put a controls in that chosen zone and the adjacent. Oh no, that is actually. You just <laughs> blow up everything. Oh, I just... Uh. Oh, you didn't have a stop to it? Oh my gosh. Okay. Monster zone. Wait, can this target occupied zones? Yes. yes. Okay, okay, okay. So target this. And then it should just target... Or it should blow up everything? Choose mm. one of your... And then if you do... Okay, okay. Number, okay. So I'm destroying two. Zone, so I should have... Oh, wait, no. Monster, they banished this guy. Choose one of your opponents. Oh, I'll detach any number of materials from this. So if you detach two, you get to destroy the same number of cards you put controls in that chosen zone and its adjacent zones. Okay. So you detach two. Are we gonna are you gonna destroy all three? No, 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 no. Just, it's just two. I didn't realize that it had to detach. Yeah. Okay. Right. So it'd be two. It'd be two. Well, I don't have a choice. I'm gonna use this here. I think this is the. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yes, um, you can summon any any tune basically. Yeah, uh, let's just double check the text on Citadel here. So, a phase up Earth Machine. Guess we're just gonna summon our <laughs> Royal Rare what? PLS. <laughs> what is this episode? Holy shit. I got two Royal Rare. Wait, what? Point, by the way. Is this not like Mallet? I think I was supposed to click the how many material. Oh, I fucked up. Yeah, I fucked up. It's like right. situation. I, I super fucked up here. I thought this card was like Mallet where you had to individually King select situation, each card. No, boy. you're actually fine because now I'm only popping one because I didn't realize how this card would work in a simulator. I mean, I'm not dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess you're not dead, no. Not the back row. Fuck. Plus one. All no, right. I know how the card works, chat. It's just like, no, some cards in this, like Mallet and I don't know, like a couple other cards, like make you manually select each card. Like you have to click the card, click confirm, click another card, click confirm. And then some of them, like this one, apparently you just click all the cards at one time. So I just didn't realize that. Okay. I'm going to, I'm just, I, I might be misplaying, but I'm going to assume you don't have a fire in your deck. So let's do some damage finally. And also this doesn't trigger Citadel. Oh, I can... Uh, you can banish this until the end phase. Oh, sure. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Uh, just it's less directly. damage this way, <laughs> I guess. So that's good. Yeah. No. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, he's wow. back. Doug, you said we banned Redoer. <laughs> yeah, Redoer at home. We have Redoer at home <laughs> still. Uh, Dude, okay. Have you seen so how insane this deck is with the new support. Tunes? Yes. No, not Tunes. The uh, Spring Gun. <laughs> oh! No, I haven't yeah, actually. Yeah. I saw that they got support though. Let's yeah. activate Shard of Greed. Yeah, let's draw two. Let's draw, let's draw two. two cards. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is funny. Uh, oh my gosh. Let's go Comic Hand. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Holy shit. Steal. Dodged. It doesn't run away, matter. Yes. Fucking dead. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, you know, actually just directly, by manhandled by tunes right now. Incredible. I know, I know. Yeah, no, that was, um... Oh my god, did we win? Yeah, oh, that was a very god. good meta call. <laughs> like... How? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, my entire deck is... I know, I have to go to that Toon Kingdom. Hmm, okay. GG's, oh game team. Oh my team? god. Interesting. Mm, this would have been maybe a little better going first. <laughs> it's fine. What are tunes gonna do going first? Hmm, interesting. Hmm, lightning storm, lightning storm, lightning storm. 
Yeah, I think we can just relax. One yeah. back row. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, let's normal summon Metal Cruncher. So it's just normals fact. without tributing. Yep. And that's an 18. And this guy is reveals three and then randomly adds one to your hand. Yeah. Doesn't it special? No. Scrap Recycler, Gear Frame. You can play Recycler. Fortress. Cool. Okay, so I don't know which one it adds. Interesting. You do not know which one it adds. Um, sure. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, I think oh, it's God. Duel Links. I, I forgot that I'm going second. Okay, yeah, attack. <laughs> can we, like, chill? Duel Links players, by the way. Um, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you have to have Solemn back there. There's no way you, like... Just didn't there's, draw there's a Solemn. No way. Yeah. Oh my god, this is like the worst... Like, whatever. That's that's an, that's irritating. Um, whatever. Let's go bookmark. And we will add, of course... I think we just have to go for the best card in our deck. It is Toon, Toon Kingdom. Kingdom. Man, this is actually insane. Because, like, yeah, Toon Kingdom to you are... You have two Toon BLSs. I know you pulled... Or wait, in that episode, did you pull two and I pulled one? Or did we both just pull one? Oh shit, Toon Cyber Dragon. Oh shit! Oh my gosh, what if you have... No, there's no way you have Fortress, right? Wait, wait, what? Are you thinking of a certain fusion monster? No, there's no way you have it. Yeah, there's, <laughs> there's just no way. Oh wow, past priority. <laughs> All right, interesting. No, no, you don't. It's like a UR, or maybe it's an SR. Oh, Mega Fleet's a UR. I think Chimera Tech's a... Just an SR. Yeah, I think we're uh I think we're good here. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Okay, interesting. Until next turn. I mean, you know, this is the only uh, magic deck in Yu-Gi-Oh when it comes to uh, monsters. Yeah, I'll activate gear frame. Seems pretty good. Okay, we can torrential. Okay, I actually don't know. And on resolution, we can use Toon Kingdom to protect our Cyber Dragon. <laughs> Um, we'll add Fortress. Fortress! It's here! Let's special. Discarding itself. And that guy. Um, okay. battle. Okay, uh, that's pretty neat, I suppose. Attack. Uh, we will protect. I, like, I don't even know. I feel like my win condition is decking you out. <laughs> like... I don't know if you're gonna last um, that long, buddy pal. Dang. All right. Oh, I guess I have. Oh, oh my, my god! <laughs> it's my turn. Oh shit! Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Graceful. You did go for Graceful. I was really close to crafting Pot of Greed, but as uh, I figured out and as Chat pointed out, uh, Graceful is way more useful in the Fabled strategy. So I think for that reason, it tilted it in the favor of <laughs> Graceful. The Fabled strategy, yes. Yeah, the, yeah. The all important Fabled strategy. You're uh, getting rid of the Comic that. Hand? You don't even want that? You're insane. Okay. How okay, good could your hand be to not want Cotton McCann right here? Bookmark! Harpy Lady. Oh no, your hand's like mermaid. Activate Harpy the effect Lady. of Harpy Lady. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna warning that one, I think, this time. Ugh. Oh, neck. Not, uh, not risking it again. <laughs> Makes sense, makes sense. Well, I thought there was like a non-zero chance that you would hit the spell card too, because it was annoying, but I didn't realize you have the BLS in hand, so. Before resolving a card effect, I'm gonna set, and we're gonna activate the comic hand. Oh, okay, yeah, too. Um, and we're gonna steal your Machina. Yeah, that is good. That is certainly Auto not phase bad. Here. Am I dead? Oh my God, I thought it was dead, holy shit. Okay, we're gonna so go 25. <laughs> We're gonna go twenty-one, yeah. and still in the battle phase, we're gonna. <gasps> no, 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 no! Wait, okay, that's fine. Oh no, I'm stupid. That's sure that they can't attack. Yeah, that's fine. Oh my god, yes, whatever. Um, stupid toon monsters! What? They're so bad. Yeah, I gotta do this to get rid of the fortress. I think. Wait, it's a toon monster. They're toons. It's a toon. Comic Con makes it a toon. Let's go. <laughs> oh god plus two subs for mbt in 30 seconds um 14. oh my god wait oh okay that's actually perfect that you summoned the 
Oh god. Harpy oh, Lady, yeah, because otherwise I would just be dead right here. Oh, you're gonna crash for Citadel. Yeah. Ugh. I oh, swear to god, if you have memory. Okay. <laughs> Back to the Citadel. Unfortunate. It's like fine, I guess. Um, I mean, I have Toon Kingdom, Doug. <laughs> I know, that's like. It's fine, it's fine. I'll attack. I guess I'm just trying to do damage, yeah. Wait, you don't have. I um, with Toon Kingdom. Oh, okay, holy shit. I thought you might have. God, this card is so good. Yeah, yeah, very good. Very good. See, this card is ridiculous. Cards in deck. Yeah, I guess we'll set one. Go ahead. Right, in the end phase, I will activate Toon Mask. Oh, and I will target no. a 3,000 attack <laughs> no. monster. Um, I mean, there's so many ways for me to win here. Yeah, yeah, that's. Well, I could go. No, I am. I'm actually just getting like holy shit. I just got like yeah, two out like easy. <laughs> oh my gosh, god, this was again. amazing. <laughs> oh god, all right. Holy shit, I can't do anything. None of these cards. <laughs> holy shit, incredible. Maybe one of the best episodes of the season, which is crazy because I felt like the last couple episodes. Have, I feel like since the ban list, it's just been insane. Yeah, I have. I have literally. I mean, I can like. Yeah, sure. Oh, wait, I did not think this would work. This is so <laughs> broken. Toon Kingdom is such a beast. Look at that. It just protect everything. Oh my gosh. I can't, I go, can't believe I man. fucking got just two of my toons. <laughs> Holy shit. Like, that is such a good hard counter. Like, oh my gosh. Yep. Incredible. Can't be destroyed by Battle Lord Cardifacts. Or targeted. Holy I mean, shit. Somehow it worked. The deck of many things for the next episode. What shenanigans will we see? Here we go. We draw. Uh, perfectly balanced. <laughs> perfectly balanced, as all things should be. During the wow. next episode only, That's both players fun. must include exactly 10 commons, 10 rares, 10 super rares, and 10 ultra rares in their main deck. Top 10 ultra rares? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's kind of like the drawback, right? Like, it's gonna be. I think the commons and rares are easier. It's the supers and ultras that are like really gonna force you to think. Um, so I can't go over. I can't play like. Uh, no, forty card decks only. Ten of everything. Exactly forty. Yeah, and you can now, do whatever you want. Deck that's yeah, exciting. you can do whatever you want in the extra deck. I was thinking about doing like five, 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 but I think having the extra deck flexible is fine. So the main deck has to be those exact ratios, no more, no less. And uh, we'll just see what we come up with next week. Okay, real quick, I want to talk directly to Crush Card. So there's this thing they do where a previous clip will end and they'll layer the next clip under it. So as Farfa is completing his sentence, you hear the <laughs> of the pack opening. That shit is so nice. Oh my God, it's so nice.